Hi, this is Raheem Zulfikar Ali from Excel Basement Private Limited and today in this video we will be learning about uh, how to perform fuzzy lookup uh, an approximate match for the text values so might be this is a new concept and new learning for you that how to do fuzzy lookup uh, and before that you have uh, already familiar with VLOOKUP, HLOOKUP, INDEX or MATCH uh, so if you know about that uh, definitely uh, I would like to address one issue regarding the VLOOKUP or as you can consider regarding index and match that uh, and particularly in VLOOKUP uh, we don't have an option for approximate match for the exact values for the textual values we can do approximate match for the numbers uh, but we can't do for the text and uh, here in, in this example uh, let me explain you if you stuck in these kind of situations what you can do you can use fuzzy lookup add-in which is available free uh, from the Microsoft website and you can download that and install and that tab add-in will be available to you so it's very simple first look at the example uh, we have a database uh, consists of three columns names region and respective salaries of the employees and what we are required is is we have few names from that particular list of employees and we need to fetch the information regarding their region and, and their salaries so in general most of the excel users what they do uh, definitely they have a heading of region and salary and they start using vlookup because your data is set uh, vertically column wise so you start with a lookup vlookup so the first argument is called the lookup value uh, you you will not find out the uh, absolute or relative references here because I have converted these ranges into table format so you might be seeing the structured references here instead of uh, relative or absolute references so for the first uh, argument is lookup value which is the name then table array which is my first table table 1 okay in which we have in the entire data set the column index number is the output uh, of of that particular column from which we need to fetch the data so we need region which is the second column according to the table one and the range lookup is because as we know that normally in VLOOKUP uh, finding the textual values and returning the values from from the uh, table we use exact match false right so either you can write zero here or you can type false here and now you can see that uh, in front of few names like Rizwan Mamtaz, you you find the region here, Central, Zoheb, Central, Saad, Central. So, but in front of few names, uh, which are highlighted in yellow, uh, there is a value generated by the VLOOKUP is called not available, which is an Excel error. So, why uh, the VLOOKUP generate this kind of behavior? So, let's check it. In the original data set, we have Fayaz Farid, and in in the information we get from from a different person is again with the pronunciation we can call it Fayaz Farid but uh, in the spelling of Farid is different uh, in, in the original database Farid is spelled like F-A-R-I-D whereas in, in the data we got for the lookup is F-A-R-E-D -E similar goes with Hassan Ali uh, there is one S in Hassan and there is uh, there is one, one A in the Hassan and there is two A in the Hassan Similar, similar to that, uh, we have a name in, in the original data which is called Abid Ahmed but uh, in, in the list we got it states that Ahmed Ahmed Raza so now as you can see that as, 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 as a user of VLOOKUP or either if you use index and match they will fail to uh, do the approximate match for the textual values because with the pronunciation it's it's same but in terms of the spelling definitely few characters are less or more added to that so if we go for the salary as well give, let me give you another idea for example again we will find uh, we will have a lookup value table array will be the data database entire table column index number will be 3 and then we are using false so again we find na because the spelling of the names are not matched that's why vlookup is not working so in these kind of situation either you have to manually correct the spelling of each of the employee in order to get their region and salary which is a long process 
for example in this kind of data we have 30 40 employees for example if, if our an organization have 10,000 of employees and we are doing lookup on 500 or 1000 or 1500 uh, lookups on on their different names and and want to fetch the information so it takes a lot of time to do manual correction of the names so quick way of uh, doing it by using uh, using the fuzzy lookup uh, add-in and the feature so if you are not familiar with it it's very simple you you have to just uh, have you, you just need an internet connection uh, open a browser google chrome or any uh, web browser you want so just write fuzzy lookup add in for excel in, in google and uh, that will redirect you to the to this microsoft.com website so it's very easy to find out this add in just write this fuzzy lookup for excel and then click on download button so when you click on download button it will download and uh, close the excel application in order to install this add-in and then restart the excel application and it says that the fuzzy lookup add-in for excel performs fuzzy matching of textual data in excel okay so it's it's basically for approximate match for the textual data in excel and fuzzy lookup is also available with a transformation table uh, addition in the microsoft power bi application as well but we are discussing with the scope of microsoft excel so once you have downloaded this and come back to this uh, excel application you will find an add separate add-in for that and here we have the fuzzy lookup option available so i will click on fuzzy lookup and when when you click on it uh, you might uh, find table one and table two setting like this so on the left side if you can see on this spreadsheet left side this table is named as table one and on the right side this specific table is named as table two you can rename the table later on if you want for niece and night names to be remembered uh, within these two table the common field for matching is is the column of names so you can see that the relationship between the left column and the right columns is is already joined uh, with a column which is called names okay so you uh, in order to uh, in, in future if you will be applying uh, this fuzzy lookup in your practical scenario you need to find a, a particular common column between two tables so in my case it's names uh, but what i want is i want uh, that uh, in table two i need to add two columns region and salary by matching the approximate match of textual value from table one so my base column in this situation is table two and my right column will be table one Normally, in, in most of the examples, you will find out that uh, the, the people generally select left table and then the right table. But it depends on the situation, how you want your output. If you select table 1, definitely these table will match with these names and give you a separate output. But I want this specific table 2 should be filled with the match of table 1. So, I have done a reverse thing. Uh, so I have selected table 2 here and table 1 here. So as I stated it, it depends on condition to condition you can apply uh, cross match of tables left and right as per your situation and you can uh, conclude with your output as well. Now the next thing is that uh, in the match columns you find out that left column and right column names column has been matched uh, by default right and what will be the output of of you you are required so you required uh, names from table two names from table one because these will match with each other and gives you an output of region and salary as well and if you want fuzzy lookup similarity threshold because definitely both these two names will have a matching of probability from zero to one and by default i think i guess it's either a 0 0.5 or 0 0.8 probability set by default in power bi but in i guess in their similarity th threshold is 0 0.5 but every time we need to minimize the threshold so that our match should be exactly match with with the other name okay so we don't need to increase the threshold we need to decrease the threshold uh, and i i usually prefer 0 0.01 threshold so that uh, the name should be matched properly instead of other names and your output will be uh, generated correctly now once you have done with all these default settings and and all the uh, options available in fuzzy lookup click the go button and as soon as you click on it a new table will generate it and now you can see that these were the names from from the existing table too and all the incorrect names as you can see here highlighted in yellow has been correctly matched from the table one 
just like for example hafiz m dot amir but was originally in the table from the spell of hafiz muhammad amir but so muhammad was spell uh, m u h a w m a d whereas uh, in the second table it was only m dot so it has been matched correctly right and now we got the region of that person and also the salary of it so normally we look up index and match does not do the approximate match on the textual values whereas the fuzzy look up with a with a less threshold and with the proper sense of idea that how to uh, apply the joins between two tables you can get the look up of other uh, columns as well and this is how you don't need to correct these spellings manually and spend a lot of time on it so fuzzy look up uh, basically decreases your pain points painful areas uh in such kind of situation where you get the wrong spelling of names and you want to correct it uh, you you don't have to correct it you can just look up it uh, with or with a free add in and your work has been done superb i hope you like this technique and you will apply in these kind of situations once you find it do comment below if you find this uh, video useful and do share it with your friends thank you